Humanizing Technologies. Chapter 4. How to Deal with Pepper, Sensors, Cameras and Handling. Hello and welcome to Basti Explains Pepper. This video is firstly about Pepper sensors, cameras and all hardware integrated in Pepper. And secondly, about where to set her up so that you can interact with her in the best way possible. Let's start with the sensors. Peppa has quite a few distant sensors in her lower part. She has laser sensors in all directions, as well as push sensors, so that she will immediately realize that there is an obstacle when bumping into someone. That's what the laser sensors are there for in the first place, avoiding for Pepper to bump into something. Moreover, Pepper has a mouth camera, which shows down angularly from her direction. That's how she can recognize objects in her newer environment as soon as she is looking in that direction. Pepper can recognize faces with her forehead camera and is actually constantly looking for faces. We will explain more later. In addition, she has a camera in her left eye. It's an infrared camera with which she can measure distances to figure out whether the person in front of her is far away or in close proximity. It's not for object orientation or object recognition, but much more for persons she interacts with. You can find Peppa speakers implemented in her ears. This is how she renders her voice and sounds. In addition, she has directional microphones on the top of her head, with which she can find out which direction acoustics and any kind of noise is coming from. On the top of the head, between the two speakers, you can find a touch sensor as well as on top of her hands. We don't use them at the moment, but it's possible to use them. The eyes are also important. They change colors as soon as you interact with her. We tickle her a little so that she will look up front. Let's continue with where to set her up. We already told you that she can measure the radius and distances around her so that she won't bump into something. Like that, she will also recognize how near walls or persons are, like Basti, right now. If something or someone is too near, it may be that Peppa won't fully execute her movement to neither hurt someone else or herself. So if Basti moves closer to her, she won't bring her arm closer or move it further in Basti's direction to avoid a collision. That means, if Pepper doesn't fulfill her movements properly, like you are used to, please check whether everything around her will give her enough space. Even little things on the floor might have an impact on her arm movements. even if we see clearly that she couldn't bump into the object. Moreover, when Pepper interacts, she has to look at a person, meaning she can only interact with or talk to one person. She can't react to different voices of different persons. That's what she has the directional microphones on her head for. She locates through the acoustic from where a voice or a person is speaking from. Like in Basti's case right now. She hears the voice coming from the left, so she turns her head to the left. Afterwards, she will note through her head camera whether there is a person or if the noise is coming from somewhere else. 
If it is a person, she will recognize a face, will concentrate solely on the person and what the person will tell her to try and figure out sentences she has an answer to. Right. Now we can see her eyes. Basti is turning her around for that. If the eyes are blue and spin around, Peppa will be listening. If the eyes turn green, she understood something or has heard a sentence which she can use while try to find the answer. Basti will demonstrate. You could see, she understood. The eyes turned green and she answered. If the eyes have another color, they can become reddish for instance, it will be an expression of her mood. Red, for example, means being shy. If Pepper is standing in a location where she has space around herself and you want her to look in a particular direction and listen, you should make sure there are no intense light sources shining into her face. It's better if light is coming from behind her. Light in front of her might seem like a potential face. As a bright, round spot, so she might stare at it. It's pretty hard to catch her attention then, because, as we described earlier on, when Pepper doesn't look at you, she won't listen to you. If you put a poster showing a face or anything else with a stiff face on it in front of her, that may also happen. So all intense light sources and faces that don't communicate should be removed from her focus. When you want to move Pepper, or the brake is pushed down and she could move by herself, you should check what's in her environment or check the floor conditions. Pepper only has small wheels underneath her feet or on her lower part. That's why she can only move on smooth areas. Smooth areas would be parquet or PVC like this one. Carpets are edges, asphalt is also not the best. In general, all uneven floor might cause Pepper to fall over, not be able to move and navigate by herself. So if you shove Pepper, always check what's in front of her on the floor. Even tiny edges can already cause her to fall over. Bestie will show you. For instance, his foot is in the way, he shoves her carefully, she tips over, making a noise. And the program will restart. Please try to avoid that. If Pepper is turned off, she won't make that noise, so please be extra careful. You can get all further information on our Humanizing Technologies homepage under support.humanizing.com.